everyone. Before we get started, I just wanted to tell you that you might notice a bit of a time skip between the last episode and this one. The reason is I unfortunately lost uh, the entirety of the last episode as well as one of my Ultimate General Civil War episodes. Uh, I keep them in a editing fo- folder and somehow that folder got corrupted. So I lost the latest two episodes for both those series. Uh, thankfully this episode, I mean, it, there was kind of a lot that happened, but also not too much. We fought a few battles. We fought, uh, we took Fort St. Chambly. We took Montreal without a fight. They left it completely open and we just marched our cavalry up there to take it. And of course we also, uh, beat the British at Burlington here. Uh, so that's really what we missed in that episode. Also, we did, uh, get that force that took Fort Montgomery out of there. So, that's really all that happened, so I do apologize. It is a little bit disappointing that we lost an entire episode, especially seeing as especially the battle for Fort Chambly uh, was actually pretty interesting. It was fun. Uh, we, we wiped the floor of them, but it was pretty fun. We just basically amassed a huge artillery wall and just pounded in, into out of existence. So, But that's all you really missed, uh, and I do apologize. So thank you and enjoy the rest of this episode. Hello everybody and thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a good day. We are playing Ultimate General American Revolution. We are now in the spring of 1776. The Declaration of Independence is just a few months off at this point, but we are cl- slowly taking ground on the British. In fact, we are currently up in Canada with a pretty successful Canadian campaign so far. We took Montreal, Fort St. Chambly, and Burlington. Uh, with relatively e- relative ease last episode. Now I have done a few things off camera. I've maneuvered some troops around. I have most of my troops right now in Montreal as we are about to get started and moving towards Trois Rivieres, uh, where the British have most of their troops. I did move Arnold up, which also triggered the event uh, that mobilizes more troops for the defense of Quebec. Most of those troops are at Trois Rivieres. So we are going to go ahead and pretty much just begin our move on them. There's no reason not to. They only have about a thousand men. We have three thousand here. Granted, we are going to leave probably this unit behind uh, just to hold Montreal for us. So let's go ahead and get everybody out and moving. And yeah, we're just going to get everybody out, including the supply wagon. We might as well. We'll get them all up here. We'll get Arnold moving up there as well. Uh, I also went ahead and maneuvered some troops down south because uh, I'm going to start building up forces to attack Fort Lovell once we uh, take Quebec because uh, I do want to deal with that large force that is in Fort Lovell. I did move uh, my general back down to Salem uh, where we have some of our regular army building back up its, its strength. And yeah, we we did take a few extra units that we didn't quite need and m- moved them down to Hoverton just to start getting forces down south. I kind of want to, well, what I did is I took, uh, just made two quick little small units just to fo- hold Fort St. John's in Burlington while we wait for their loyalty to go up. What we also want to probably do is we probably want to make a printing press up here in Montreal, although their construction points are not that great, so it is going to take almost two months just to make the printing press, but it will help with uh, holding Canada. And hopefully Burlington will, uh, and Fort St. John's, they're part of New York, they will start getting their loyalty up, and really that will help with a lot of our loyalties here in New York where most places we are at 100% loyalty except for Fort Montgomery they did suffer a little bit from those British units taking it a few episodes ago or the sort of resurrection that happened there or revolution I guess not resurrection uh, but yeah we really what I would love to do is recruit some more generals but we just don't have that something that also happened we are, are starting moving on heavy frigates we also finished our skirmisher department uh, so we can actually start making regular army skirmishers so if we wanted to we could come over here delete some troops in here like we could potentially take a look at this I mean we have a lot of supply runners what I might do is actually I, I might get rid of that and get rid of this and make a skirmisher unit and an artillery unit. 
that's probably what I'll do and some skirmishers will give them hunter rifles that way we have some regular army skirmishers coming in as well I think that'll be what we want to do because we really want to have plenty of cannon over here and yeah what we also might think about doing where do we have a lot of recruits at the moment outside of Portsmouth looks like just oh yeah I did also have a recruiting house because yeah this area just isn't getting a ton of recruits anymore for some weird reason even though I have like a recruiting house in Hartford they just don't seem to want to come in fact I even have a barracks in Hartford and they still we are still not getting a lot so we do have quite a bit of troops in Fort Rice we are going to go ahead and raise another regular army unit because uh, like I said we are gearing up for this attack on Fort Lovell and what we're going to do we don't have enough of the United States but we can go ahead and start using up some of these Spanish 55s we're gonna be able to make two units with Spanish 55s uh, yeah cuz that's 240 the rest are probably actually let's assign brown besses to him we'll give them civilian muskets cuz I don't think we have actually we could probably give them United States rifles it, it might take a little bit for them to come up not sure why it made me stop there but we have plenty of galloper guns and of course we can do some skirmishers but we are probably for this skirmisher unit we're probably are just gonna have to give them some civilian muskets for now until we can start building our own hunter rifles so we'll apply that we got another regular army unit in on the way which is going to hurt our finances quite a bit uh, but hopefully we can keep things going we got plenty of resources we even have tons of civilian muskets right now but like I said once we take Trois Rivieres and Quebec we will start shifting these troops back down although we are going to have to hold some although after we take probably Trois Rivieres we probably will just just disband the supply wagon because there's really no more point for the supply wagon as of right now uh, just because we yeah we don't really need it uh, we'll, we'll carry it with us to them that's where they have most of their forces now they probably will retreat to Quebec but until that happens we're not gonna worry about it too too much get the supply convoy going we'll just have them provide for the this column as it moves to its Trois Rivieras and then we fight the battle there so we got a nice donation of 2,000 gold that, that's good we'll let these guys bunker down get some conditioning back for a little bit we actually have Lafer here who can actually be upgraded slightly let's also form these guys into an army we're just gonna leave them separated I'm not gonna worry about forming them into brigades or anything right now looks like most of their conditioning is pretty good In my way today just to get them up to full strength and then we'll launch the assault so we get 126 Charlotte Veals that's not too bad we can actually probably come down to Fort Rice here that one unit that yeah they have US muskets let's just go ahead and give them the Charlotte Veals 66's and then we what we could do is give these guys well, let's apply that first and then hold on yeah come on then we can give these guys the US muskets yeah they have plenty of US muskets so there we go we'll do that for now till we can build up our US muskets and then we can always sell those now with these guys we can get them moving let's go ahead and get them attacking we need to move Arnold forward I hate when that happens so annoying
And there we go. Same where it looks like it's saying we're supposed to be outnumbered in this battle, but that's certainly not the case. We definitely outnumber them. And this should be a, quite an easy battle for us. Alright, start this battle. Hopefully it will be a quick one. Again, the one thing I really wish they fixed in this game, and I really hope that's in one of their updates, is the ability to actually decide like the starting positions of your army. I'm going to actually move this gun, let's move him up here, along with some, probably these two groups of infantry, to support him. As well as, we'll get these skirmishers up here as well. Now over here, we'll get them lining up over across these guns. Get these skirmishers forward. Let's get our cavalry out here. To send up all of our skirmishers to hold them back. We got these two units, as well as another cannon. Maybe get them situated up here. It's probably gonna battle is probably gonna be over more than likely by the time these guys get up there. We do also have another cannon in reserve over here, so maybe we get him moved up over there, and then these two units over here. And then maybe just move these guys up into reserve slightly. Maybe move the ammo carrier back. Let's get Arnold up as well. And that's going to be our starting positions. Kind of want to have these guys just hold fire until the British get close. But we won't. We'll let them fire away for now. Looks like the British are coming in heavy on our left here. So what we might actually have to do... No, it looks like they're coming down our middle too. So let's get our skirmishers up there to hold positions. Okay, they're shifting everybody. Let's get our skirmishers up to hit them in the flank. Just do that. Let's get these guys shifting left. Actually, seeing as the British didn't do what I thought they were going to do and come straight down our middle, we'll sort of reposition some of these guys that are on our left here. one shot into their rear and then pull these guys back.
those guys out of the range, out of the front of the guns. I don't think the British have any artillery, or at least I don't see any coming towards us. Let's get these guys out of there. Let's get you out from in front of the guns, how about that? Alright, well, that happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. Let's get all of our guns holding fire, I guess. Because I don't want them shooting into my guys who are going to be chasing after these guys. Make sure, yeah, I think everybody's moving. So we'll do as much damage to everybody as we can as they retreat. Which I don't think it's going to be too much. In fact, it looks like they are much faster than us. It usually works a little bit better, but it's not doing anything right now. Let's just collapse upon this unit. At least try to get one unit destroyed. for right now. We're even gonna get one destroyed. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> How are they not sur surrendered? Can't even see them in there. Alright, they shattered. Alright, so back to global map. So the British are left with about 800 men left. We only lost 81, so we'll continue. We won't even slow down, except just to take the city. We'll drop one of our units off in the city, and then we'll just move on to Quebec with everybody else. Oh, okay, so we do have a British invasion coming our way at the shores of Falmouth. We do not have any confirmation if this is real, but it should be wise to get prepared for the worst and send some of our troops to the area. Alright, alright, well, that is slightly unfortunate. What, what muskets are we missing now? Probably, oh, brown besses. We don't have enough brown besses. Maybe we just buy a few, but also... I think this unit that we just raised here at Fort Rice. 
let's get them moving towards Salem as quickly as possible and then up to Portsmouth we got plenty of units in Portsmouth uh, you know what let's disband this we need generals I'm not I am actually kind of worried about that invasion um, I don't want to just do all regular all the time. Let's throw some militia in here. I think, yeah, well, all we really have right now is civilian muskets, which is fine. Let's go ahead and just stock up. We don't have any more three-pound gallopers. We don't have really any guns at all. Um... Let's see. Let's buy some four pounders. It's going to take a lot out of us. But we can sell off these extra Spanish 55s. Actually, let's not sell off these Charlevilles. We can sell off some of our goods. Come down to 150. We also have a ton of wagons, uh, but that should be good for now. Let's go ahead and make that militia regiment. Thankfully, they finally fixed that bug, which uh, if you started making a unit and then stopped, like if you assigned an officer, it would actually get rid of that officer. It was really quite annoying. Oh, I thought I bought five. I only bought four. Um, let's uh, Let's just focus on manpower right now. We can always disband these units. We can even create another unit over here at Fort Stephens. We have some recruits in Salem, but not a lot that we can draw from. It would probably just be best to create another one over here, because what I'm thinking I might do now that that happened is where is my... Yeah, they're not, they're not carrying a whole bunch of supplies with them anyway. Well, well let's march forward. To trace for Viares, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we can disband this one really quick as well, if needed. Oh man, I was not expecting an invasion. I guess it was always a threat. Arnold got promoted, so we actually really do need to get moving. Chase with our cavalry and Arnold. We got a nice donation. Don't we have a unit that doesn't have any experience? Not really. get banded up there. Knox is on his way over. He should be getting to Salem here soon. I mean, at least they're not sending an invasion force somewhere where we don't have men. We're going to rest with everybody, but we're going to keep our cavalry going, although they're, they probably need some rest as well. Because it would have sucked if they had sent an invasion force, I don't know, to our underbelly over here. Oh, look at that. They finally moved out of there. That big fleet. I wonder what they're going to do up here. Looks like they're... I don't know, we do have a unit coming to Quebec, it looks like. 
All right, so we get 15 prestige for taking Twatter of Uh Okay, so they have an additional 420 men that just popped up at Quebec. And they are on their way down, it looks like. Actually, it looks like they're just marching them off. Oh, are they just going to abandon Quebec? Oh, wow. It looks like they are just going to abandon Quebec. Alright, hold on. We need to get this guy back to our Riviera because we're going to disband him. Here comes that invasion fleet. Right, let's get these guys moving. We'll get them to back to Montreal. this New Hampshire we need the money where was that oh yeah we forgot to buy that other four pound galloper okay um Alright, let's come to goods. We need to sell some stuff. We'll come down to 150 ammo. Let's sell most of these wagons. We'll sell all the textiles. That should give us some money for a few days. Let's get Knox up there. There comes that invasion fleet. And we took Quebec. Alright, let's get our cavalry moving back down south. We need to come quickly because I don't know what their fleet is planning on doing. Let's expand this unit. We no longer need the provisions, the supply wagons. We can use the officers and start building up our forces over here because uh, yeah we definitely need a few more let's get some more artillery be nice if we could afford some more I'm pretty much ignoring any more three pound gallopers don't care had these forces in Burl and Hubberton that we could probably start moving uh, east if depending on what these men do it looks like they got about 4,000 that's uh, 5,200 another 50 uh, so but they have about 6,400 men now in Falmouth plus another 5,000 at Fort Lovell we have if we were to consolidate right now we have We'll say 2,000 there, so 5,000, 6,200, so they outnumber us greatly. So we definitely need to get these boys from the north down, although we don't really have a lot left, because we're going to have to leave forces up here to hold these positions, which is annoying, very annoying. We could probably save some money. Wasn't one of, I thought for sure one of my units, maybe I already disbanded him. Yeah, these guys don't technically have leaders. And I'm just exploiting a little bit of a uh, sorry, a little bit of a uh, bug there. So Quebec is captured. Um, let's really need to get Arnold down so Arnold is just gonna come down because I want to see make sure they I know what's going on at Fort Lovell as well 
Because with this influx of troops, I'm now worried that they're going to get bold and move south. They only actually have about 3,000 troops, although a lot of cavalry over there at Fort Level. Not enough gun. Oh, that's right. Let's get another gun. We actually have enough now. Let's go ahead and buy these two pound gallopers. Be nice if we could get another six rate ship. Um, let's be. Let's go ahead because we had a few units that want that we just created that didn't have good weapons. I, I'm pretty sure I gave a lot of. Didn't I just create a regular army unit? Let's take a look at him first. Uh, let's see. Give him the brown vests. Replace these Spanish weapons with some U.S. muskets. Then come over to this guy. We can give practically two. Oh, we don't quite have enough. Let's just buy a few so we can get them. We have four. We just got that influx of money from can from that operation in Canada. We can actually sell some of these short brown vests. I would love to get another, a couple more cavalry regiments, but that's just not in the cards right now. So that we need more good weapons, because I want to replace all these. Let's get regular Charlevilles. How many U.S. muskets? We don't have enough U.S. muskets. Not enough brown vests on the market. Let's see what that gives us. I don't want to spend all the money, because the last thing I want to do is... Just being in dire straits financially. Didn't I just... I guess I didn't buy those Charlevilles. That's annoying. I did. Oh, that's right. These are 150 man unit, The militia units. And Charlevilles. Okay, and then we have... So we're going to need to buy a total of... 450 weapons, so we can buy 300 Spanish 55s to arm these guys. And these Charlevilles are slightly more expensive. Why are these ones more expensive to buy than the regular Charlevilles? Let's just see. 150 of these weapons would be, well, they don't even have 150 in the market, so that answers that. Alright, so everybody that I just raised will have good weapons. They also, we also need more, what, galloper guns? Four pound gallopers? Let's just come back up to five. Alright, that's about all the money I'm willing to spend. Charlevilles, and then we'll spread out these Spanish 55s. Alright, we need to get these troops moving south. We'll get them to Fort Rice first, and then we'll have them come across. Make sure these guys aren't heading south. Looks like they're heading west. I'm going to keep my eyes on them as best as I can. At least until I can get Arnold down. I have Arnold set up there. I'm not sure where they're planning on going. It looks like almost like they're coming this way. Maybe to attack. Our forts over here? That would be unfortunate if they were to do that. I don't know, they cut south, they all move marching towards Fort Level, it looks like. Sure. 
We're not building any cavalry right now anyway. Get out of there, Arnold. So we're going to keep monitoring this situation. Like I said, it looks like all these forces are coming down towards Fort Level. Now whether they're going to... It's almost like the computer knew I was talking about attacking Fort Level. Alright, so... Our, oh, thank God we got officer recruitment. We will go ahead and do that. It's only going to give us one officer, but... I'm not going to worry about textiles. It's only going to give us one more officer, but we could definitely use that. Um, let's go out to supply facilities. Because one of the other things I was thinking about doing was making sure we actually had... Did I? Now that I'm thinking about it, did I? Yeah, I did assign... Yeah, some of these to having that. We what I want to do is make some supply depots eventually. There's no way Fort Level can actually hold this many troops. They have 600 more troops on their way too. Oh my lord, 8,000 troops. And they're actually moving. They are on the move. Hmm. There's no way we win that at Fort Stephens. I think what we need to try and do is consolidate our forces near Leicester. I think we're going to abandon Fort Rice as well. And again, just bring down all my forces towards Leicester. Uh, we'll get them. What were we working on? Continental Army. Which we could technically do. Could spend a reputation for it. I think what I'm going to do is send all these forces out towards Leicester as well. A mass with what I got, I think. Looks like by pulling them out of Fort Stephens, it actually looks like it may have got them to decide against attacking us. Not sure what's going on. Well, get in there so that you can rest up. We need to get these guys south. Oh crap, we're out of money again. Alright, let's sell off about half of our civilian muskets. Hmm. 
We're sitting pretty with some of our goods. Let's sell off. Let's get to 5,000, I think. This has come down to 150. There we go. And of course, we did. Uh, where do we have some troops we can. So, yeah, they just re -garant So, they took Hubberton from us, actually. They might be moving on some of our forts in the west here. Rhode Island, we'll take that. Oh, definitely we'll accept some military aid at this point, especially some free military aid. It's just a question of where did it come to? It looks like it might have come up here. Yeah, I think. No? That one was already there. Not really sure where... Oh, I forgot about those troops in Fort Montgomery. Ah, uh, actually, that's fairly even. Even though these guys do need some time. I'm actually not sure where that regiment... I guess Portsmouth. Yeah, it looks like it was Portsmouth, yeah. We got that new regiment over here in Portsmouth, so that's definitely helpful. Oh boy. So what we're going to do is we're going to march these guys down, probably take that small f on that small force at Hubberton. God, they are still moving more troops south now. I won't lie, the British definitely have us on our heels right now. Thankfully, Lester can hold a pretty big garrison. What are we missing? Are they U.S. muskets? Oh, these guys took some. Uh, we'll buy some. We'll just have like, I don't know, like 40 in storage for both of those. Spanish 55s too. It's annoying, but... Actually, we can also start replacing some of these guys who have these weapons with U.S. muskets. So let's do that. God, they're going to have almost 10,000 troops just at Fort Lovell. But we took Quebec. I mean, thankfully, I have about, especially once I move my troops down, I'm going to have about 10,000 troops in the region as well. So there is that. And they are moving south with about 7,500 of their troops. This might be a situation where I'm going to retreat to Boston with all these troops and maybe even pull my men in from Portsmouth. What, are, what muskets are these guys missing? Brown Besses, my god, are you kidding me? Let's just buy everything that's on the market, I guess. Now it's not the time. Alright, we need a diversion. I think. So we're going to take these men here. 
and get them marching on Hubberton that might divert some of the British forces so they're definitely gonna take Fort Stevens now what the question is are they gonna stop at Fort Stephens I see I foresee this becoming an issue I'm pretty sure what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna lose a lot of these towns we're gonna end up I think keeping Well, they actually didn't keep going south, but I got a feeling they're going to just keep probing and slowly taking a lot of these forts. And unfortunately, if we lose Fort Rice, that does actually, we do sever our connection to the west here, which isn't going to be too bad because both sides are pretty self-dependent right now, both our east and our west. This is really annoying that these guys are out of weapons. Really freaking annoying. What weapons do these guys have? Greenleaf. This would be the first one. It's actually interesting that they came equipped with brown besses. Or did we equip them with brown besses? I think they came equipped with brown besses. That's interesting. That's funny, we're just under the camp capacity for Lester here. You know what? God. I mean they're fully crewed and they're mostly for the most part. Let's let's leave port. Let's take on some of these ships down here. While also keeping an eye on everything going on up here. So if nothing else, we could probably take these two ships and then just sell them. We could use the cash. So let's do that. I'll probably do that off screen though. So I won't bore you. Alright, so I took the brig. Unfortunately, I didn't actually have enough uh, small crews to actually crew the cutter. Uh, so that was a little bit unfortunate, but not a big deal. Uh, Alright, so most of these guys are now pretty much in position. Hopefully this will draw some of the attention from Fort Lovell, maybe. Oh. Alright, so they did respond. They sent some more troops. Form up into an army. And we will attack Hubberton. Hopefully they don't have anything else coming. Doesn't look like it. Well, they have, do have some cavalry coming, but we have cavalry of our own. Alright, so let's play this battle. They actually have a lot of cavalry. But we actually, I, I think we have good weapons. We have some cavalry of our own to cover the guns. What we might do is try and amass into one big location. And then let them come to us. Because the cavalry is just going to have to charge in. Of course, we're, we're going to be all spread out, of course. So what we'll do. Well, the British are going to be this way. Actually, we'll have one gun over here. Move this gun forward. So it's our smaller gun. We have a gun over here. We'll put our cavalry in the rear. We only have the one skirmisher unit we do. So we'll leave them in the woods a little bit in front of the guns. Let's combine these two units as well as these two units. Then everybody else have them come over here, sort of defend those guns. 
Where did I send this gun? Yeah, have him go right there. This gun's coming up here, so we'll just move these guys slightly forward. And then the troops that are moving right here we'll have on either side of this gun. Of course, we want to get Benedict Arnold back. Now, these two groups have, well, he's formed up. These guys aren't formed up completely yet. Oh, they are. That's just skirmishers. Don't want them so far out. I got somebody. Of course, they're just out of shot shell range. Alright, well the cavalry is playing it safe. Oh, we actually... was that... yeah, that was a horse. Let's shatter some of these horse. Friendly fire didn't hurt anybody. Let's make sure we get this other horse. And your guns. What are you doing? I never took him off whole fire. Get back on your guns and shoot at those horse. Get our cavalry out of there. Fire! Hold fire, actually. Destroy that cavalry, my God, hit them. There we go.
cavalry out of there. There we go. Move this other g gun over here, I think. We got some light infantry coming up as well. Make sure Arnold's up there. actually split bring that guy up and then we'll charge in with these guys as well Not sure why I'm having so many trouble, so much trouble with this. Alright, we shouted another one. See if we can goad them in.
Alright, well, hopefully my cavalry can chase down and destroy the rest of that cavalry. It would be nice to break another one. Sorry, I got really quiet there. I was so concentrated on trying to break that cavalry. gonna get that but maybe we can get these guns so two of their cavalry regiments got out of there but the rest of them were destroyed all right so you guys stop firing Actually, let's forget about the artillery. Probably not going to make it. In fact, we're probably not going to make it for most of these. It'd be nice to get that break, though. How is my cavalry not catching up to him? Where is my cavalry? Oh, I was on the wrong side of the map. broke them at least all right so we took more casualties than they did um, mostly from <laughs> me shooting shot into my own guys probably uh, but yeah we were able to shatter at least three I want to say three or four of those cavalry regiments which is really nice because that means they are not coming back and we might even I don't think we're gonna get any surrenders Would have been nice to see that unit surrender as well. Alright, I don't want to chase. Not with all those units. Yeah. Let's just get into Hubberton. I don't know how many more troops they have heading this way. Quite a bit, it looks like. Actually, it looks like they're all heading off now. So we give the British a defeat, although we are now out of money again. Seems to be a prevailing issue. Let's sell off some of these. I want to leave at least 80s for us to be able to raise another regiment here. Let's also do raising funds. That'll also help. Um, oh, look at that. We actually slowly getting some Dragoon Carbines. Oh, we could actually sell off these ships that we, we stole because we did steal the two. Or the one. So we can sell this guy off. The Unicorn. Let's go to the market. Sell him. That helps. Let's just sell off all of our furs. That should be enough for now. To keep us going for a little bit longer. So all in all, not a bad episode. I still want to... I feel like I'm in a good spot to be able to take some of these ships that are around in here. But we got to wait till our ships recrew. Um, so yeah, we have about 9,000 men in the this area ready to attack. Oh god, we, 
we are out of provi we are over troop camping capacity. Well, really, we have about 10,000 troops total to take on Fort Lovell, and you know you have Fort Stephens that's actually pretty uh, pretty weak at the moment. What we could probably do is swing down and hit them with Arnold's group. We actually have quite a bit over in Fort Rice, so what we might actually do. Let's just get everybody out and actually moving towards Fort Rice to be able to recoup, recuperate some of their losses. So thank you all everybody for watching. We've been going close to an hour now, so I think this is where we'll leave off as we now move all of our forces down here south. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hopefully we are able to get out of this bit of a bad situation we found ourselves in with this new British invasion but all in all I think uh, it might work out in our favor uh, the only issue is they still have I think about 3,000 troops up in Falmouth but if we could surround and destroy they're actually maneuvering I think that's all these guys coming back into Fort Lovell if we could piecemeal wise take out all the British I think we'll be in a good spot because uh, we can take out Fort Stephens pretty easily, I think. Once these guys at Fort Rice recuperate their losses. And, yeah, we could probably move in and surround Fort Lovell. Or at the very least, be able to... I mean, that actually might be what we do. Is maybe we just move these troops up from uh, Leicester. A uh, nice donation, we'll take that. And uh, some money. So yeah, that's might be what we do. These guys are starting to trickle in from Hubberton. While these guys are recuperating, we might just go ahead and try and take Fort Stephens back with the troops that we have stationed in Leicester. And hopefully that'll... I don't know, that might force them to come down, in which case we could always shift troops from Portsmouth to Fort Stephens. And... I don't know, maybe surround them that way. It all depends on how much troops they commit to the battle at Fort Stephens, because I'm assuming they'd probably send troops down. So we should be ready with troops to intercept. Maybe not leave Portsmouth completely empty, but we might shift maybe all but like two regiments. Maybe leave like a regular army regiment as well as a... Uh, as well as our militia that we have here. Shift everybody else over. To help with that, because I can't imagine they'd commit everybody to an assault or the defense to Fort Stephens. I can't imagine they would. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see, but that's not for this episode. That is going to be definitely for the next episode. Thankfully, this didn't come and turn it into a, bout of a huge route for us. That could have ended badly. Thankfully, I really think I did the right move by consolidating all my forces back here. Let's just hope they don't send another invasion fleet uh, before we have a chance to defeat these forces. Like I said, it's really the forces up at Fort Falmouth that are actually worrying me at the moment. Um, I think we can give up some uh, some of our resources there. Uh, so yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Actually, there was one thing I did want to do, because this is a different province, and I did actually want to... Where is it? Uh, build another printing press up here as well in Quebec. That way we got both Quebec and Montreal. Hopefully, they're actually swinging pretty quickly. They're already at 19%. All we got to do is make sure they get to 40. It's actually these Burlington and Fort St. John's are actually the ones that are slowly uh, coming to, under our control. They actually did take back Hubberton, so that might be what we do. We might launch another assault with uh, with old, uh, Benedict Arnold here. Um, up to Hubberton, while at the same time hitting them from Leicester against Fort St Stephens. That way they can't, they have to choose where they're going to send reinforcements. I don't know, we'll figure that out next episode, guys, but thank you for watching, and... I hope you stick around to see what exactly happens with this. Hopefully they don't move on to Fort Ticonderoga. That would be sad if we have to take back Fort Ticonderoga. But yeah, 
Anywho, guys, as always, well, bye.